Actually, I read my admissions file. I did fail math. I got a super scored 1320 on my SAT. They just wanted me for my personality. Hi, my name is Katya and I'm a PhD student at Harvard. Today I will be asking Harvard students about how they got admitted and at the very end of the video they're gonna share whether Harvard is actually worth it. So if you're interested, please continue watching. Can you tell us your name, where you're from and how long you've been at Harvard? I'm Yasun. My name is Naomi. Ezra. Evan. I am David Schmidt. I'm from Orange County, California. I'm Jen. I'm from Orange County as well. I am from Washington State. Greece. Nairobi, Kenya. Minnesota, but I've also lived in Costa Rica. And then, what was the last question? Oh, I'm a sophomore at Harvard, so I've been here two years. I've only been at Harvard for a couple of months. I'm in my third year at Harvard. I've been at Harvard for almost three years now. This is my first year at Harvard. This is my first year. Where? At, at Harvard. <laughs> <laughs> so you got into Harvard, so you probably had some good stats in high school. Can you share your GPA and your test scores? My GPA it was like 3.9 something. 3.7. 4 .0. 84 out of 84. My unwit is probably like 3.5. I did fail math, so I had to retake that over the summer. They just wanted me for my personality. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, test scores, I got a 35 on the ACT. Oh, ACT. 36. I got a super scored 1320 on my SAT. What extracurriculars did you have in high school? By far my main one was chess. I was a competitive chess player as a kid. I played chess from ages 5 to 15. My biggest achievement was when I was 13 I won the World School Girls Chess Championship for girls under 13. Also when I was 14 I became a woman international master. Yeah and then I guess the second thing is that I helped lead my school's robotics club which was mm -hmm. quite fun. I didn't have any like... You didn't do anything. Yeah I just I was just a swimmer. We actually swam together but I was really bad at swimming. So I didn't swim here, but I worked at a hospital for four years and I had like 400 hours of service I started a virtual exchange program during COVID um, Just like pairing uh, students from around the world who are learning English with high school students in the US for like English language practice On top of that, I did a lot of journalism mock trial mm -hmm. Student government that sort of thing extracurricular wise. I did music. Um, I did math Olympiad had some leadership positions What do you think was the number one thing that got you into Harvard? Probably being published in the New York Times. Actually, I read my admissions file. They weren't really that impressed with any of like my grades or extracurriculars or anything. They were like, "We're gonna see, we're gonna see how the interview goes." And then the interview is apparently what actually got me in. I'm a butterfly, yeah, for swimming. And I was on the list of recruited swimmers. And, you know, he won Ivy know. League championships for 200 flights. Uh, that was like a few days ago. Actually, I don't go here. I go to Northeastern, so I'm in the four-year nursing program there. Shout out Northeastern. I guess the one thing that I had was I sort of chose to be honest with my own interests, my own niche interests. What is the best thing about going to Harvard? Meeting you, obviously. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> <You're so honest. laughs> more, more, more broadly, I think becoming very involved in the AI safety student team here at Harvard, where I did, in fact, meet you. And I've just like, I don't know, found my future career, found the coolest people at Harvard here. I'm, I'm on the swim team, and it's certainly the, you know, the friends I've made on the swim team. I really like his swim team friends as well. Shout out Tristan, shout out Felipe, and shout out ODP. People, um, I love all the people I've met here. I'd say second place would be like the travel opportunities. I've been able to travel a lot, like on Harvard Money, which has been really cool. The diversity of people you meet, um, diversity of viewpoints. So far it's been the faculty for me. Uh, so in my area, I guess there are a lot of different professors around who are very high level in what I do. Mm. So it's been really cool to be able to just chat to them over coffee. What is the worst thing about going to Harvard? There are not enough people from the Midwest at this school. Mm. More international students too. Mm. I, yeah, the, the student body is very like diverse in certain ways and then not very diverse in other ways. How many students are there from Minnesota? Uh, around 20 per year. The balance between like athletics and academics isn't great because mm -hmm. you know, it, there's not like a ton of support for athletes. Dining hall isn't great and the weather isn't great. Um, Probably Tristan. That's shout out Tristan, shout out Felipe and ODP. Probably them too. They're the worst and the best. <laughs> How happy are you about coming to Harvard from 1 to 10? I would say 10. Oh, 10. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, 10. So far, 10. A 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Yeah. 9? What is that one? Well, so like half of that one is because I have sometimes considered dropping out or at least taking a pretty long leave of absence in mm. order to maybe get into the real world and like actually be doing things. And then the other half of the one is because I guess I also got into Stanford and then some of me thinks like, mm -hmm. ah, would I have enjoyed it there? And I'm like, well, yes, but I enjoy Harvard too. So like, <laughs> there's no point.